This is the story of how me, my friend Jen, and her daughter Tannis went to the set of Glee. Uh, it's filmed at Paramount Pictures right there. Um, and actually, we won a video contest uh, in which you had to incorporate uh, Quaker Oats and Glee together. So it's actually on my YouTube. Um, so I'll, I'll post a link for it for you as well. Also on the trip, my husband Harry came with us. So there's us in front of the studio right there. And this is the ticket that we got to admit us into there. And here's Tannis in front of the map of the studios. And there's a Glee pylon right in front of the studio. And here's stage 14. This is where they, where they film Glee. The first stop was Rachel Berry's room. It's really neat, all the things in her room here, like the little pink computer and whatnot. So cute. And there's her ribbons and the thing that says Ohio State. And there's Jen and Harry right there. And there's me right beside her mirror. I was so happy. She's one of my favorite characters. And there's Jen in her bathroom. Look at all the products. There's a Dove product in, in there. That makes sense. There's Mr. Shoe's dining room right there. And here is Mr. Shoe's living room. And then here's the three of us near his mantelpiece right there. And then it was really neat. Here's all the records that he has. It's really cool that all the, the props people do all that stuff. There's uh, the dining room from a different angle with all the lighting above. And this is his kitchen right there. And there I am in his kitchen. Now this is actually Wonder Bread and it's fake. It, it was really neat. <laughs> this says, that taste of poop out of my mouth, more like pigeon poop. I guess they do a lot of practical jokes on the set apparently, so that was pretty funny. They wouldn't tell me what it was about though. <laughs> now here's my husband coming out of what they call the hobbit hole because it's so small. He's like 6'1". He has to bend over just to get through. This is one of the hallways in the high school. And this is the library right here. And here's the desk at the library. If you remember that you can't touch this episode, this will look familiar for sure. And it was funny about how many doubles of books there were. If you see the Aqua books, there's so many of them. And there's still books left in wrappers, just like this one. So it was funny all the things that they had to do in order to make the bookcases look full. <laughs> and here's Jen with that open a book, open your mind sign that you see during the episodes. And here's one of the fake posters they have up and about. And there's a trophy case down one of the hallways. It was really neat all the attention to detail that they, all their props people do, like all these fake posters and you know it really, I don't know, really keeps you in the moment when you're watching the show. And this is the cafeteria right here. Uh, it's actually surprising how small the cafeteria looks. It, it doesn't look that small when you see it on TV. And there's Jen in the cafeteria looking for some tater tots, probably. <laughs> there's a bunch of Glee chairs. And this is the outside. I can't believe with the lighting, when, when the lighting's different, how much it does look like the outdoors. It's just crazy. There's me sitting on one of the benches outside. And then if you look above, this is like all the lighting, and this is us going in between all the different sets there. So there's us with a big, huge cutout of Sue Sylvester. And here's floor plans for the girls in the boys' bathroom that we saw laying around. And then this is the teacher's lounge right here. And when you look at this picture, if you look on the right-hand side, you can see the trees and the bushes outside, and with different lighting, it definitely looks like it's outside. But if you look above, you see all the lighting there, eh? And it's so funny how much this looks like a high school when it's on TV, but when you get there, it just looks like little rooms. It's very interesting. So there's all us sitting in the teacher's lounge there. There she is trying to pretend to be Emma, doing her lunch thing. <laughs> And so these are all the brochures from Ohio State. They're genuinely from Ohio. And there's all the other things too. That clock can actually, they can set it to whatever time they need it to be. 
Here's Sue Sylvester's office right here. And there's Sue Sylvester's nameplate. And here's Sue Sylvester's trophy case right here. And that's me and Jen in front of Sue Sylvester's desk. And then here's all Sue Sylvester's trophies and her vitamins and supplements. It's pretty funny. Yep, and there's the trophy case again. Gotta get lots of pics of the, the trophy case, that's for sure. This is William McKinley High School chairs that she has in her office. And there we are with the trophy case showing off. And then this is supposed to be all of the awards she gets every year for the Cheerios since 2001. And this is where Jane Lynch hits her mark. And then this is the boys' locker room. And actually, these cleats had real dirt on them. Everything is so authentic. It's really cool. Here's Harry in the locker room. When I saw this picture, I was like, oh, I was definitely on the side of Glee. Here's Jen doing her best Finn impression. Now apparently there's actually running water in these showers and that's quite a feat to do on a set. There's Harry pretending to use the urinal. And there's me pretending to use the toilet. I'm like, get out of here! <laughs> Attitude is everything. I've seen that before on the episodes. And here are some random costumes that just happen to be in the locker room. And then there's the four of us. And then here's down another hallway, McKinley Baseball. And there's another trophy case down the hall. This was hilarious. It's Susie Uterus for the Celibacy Club. I never saw that on the air, but just all those little details you never see. And there's me in front of Emma's desk. She's my favorite character. Here's one of her pamphlets, Me and My Cancer. And then there's Jen in front of Emma's desk. And then there's Tannis in front of Emma's desk. And then there's all these funny little pamphlets that you see on the show, kind of in the background. We were able to pick some of them up, like, yuck, my privates got stinky. And the very controversial autism, the pretend disease. That might offend some people, I'm sure. Ooh, there's a hair down there. Oh, I still breastfeed, but how old is too old? And, of course, I am too depressed to even open this pamphlet. Here is the rehearsal schedule. I don't know if it's for the Glee Club or their actual rehearsal schedule. We weren't told. And here is the choir room. As soon as I got into this room, I was like, wow, I really feel like I'm on the set of Glee. And there's Tannis in the chairs. Jen was so emotional when she saw this. She was so happy to see her daughter on one of the Glee Club chairs. And then here they are singing and dancing in the Glee Club room. And then this dog actually belongs to Matthew Morrison. He got it from his music teacher and he wanted to incorporate it in the set. And then there's Tannis with the big Glee trophy. And then there's the three of us in the choir room. And then there's me and my BFF in the choir room. And there's me and Harry on director's chairs. It, they didn't have names on them, so we don't know whose chairs they were specifically. And this is cool, because that's always the point of view you, you see of the kids coming in through the hallway, so I thought that was very cool. Principal Figgins' office. And there's Jen behind Principal Figgins' desk. They actually had to recreate everything from a high school, so even that tacky blue carpet is actually in a, in a high school somewhere in like West Hollywood. And this is this says a bunch of stuff like, screw the milk, get some milk. It's just like what the things that the props people wrote on it to make it look authentic in the secretary's office. And then this is a hallway here. This hallway always looks so much bigger on TV, but it's just little. And there's Jen with Kurt's locker. She was like so excited to get this picture. She loves Kurt. And that says, careful, mono, in front of the water fountains. We thought that was pretty funny. And then here's me in front of all the lockers. And then there's the four of us, the bad kids of the school there. 
And then this is in between sets, some of the lighting from above. And there's me in the outside of the school, William McKinley High. And of course the lighting makes it look more like outside. And this is actually a backdrop. That's authentically from Ohio, that picture. So it would actually look like Ohio in the background. And here's Artie and Tina, some art. It's behind uh, in the studio. Somebody else did Finn and Quinn and Puck. Somebody drew that. And this is uh, their castle, one of the set pieces from Rocky Horror when they did that episode. And this is the auditorium right here. It's the exact replica of an auditorium they have in this West Hollywood High School. So, you know, they, they, you know, they have all these tacky colors like green and orange and whatever. There's me on the stage. I was so happy. <laughs> but yeah, and see there's where Mr. Shu has his little desk. And there's the lighting grid. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. There's Jen and Tannis on the stage. That was one of Jen's big dreams. And there's Harry on the stage. And then at the end, they gave us an autographed picture. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.